Magic hosting the Knicks, and the Magic are one and a half point favorites. The over under is at 226 and a half. The Knicks are plus 102 on the money line, and the Magic are minus 120. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to, put, uh, to tip off tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you can do so by visiting my website or clicking on the link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, my stats, and if you're going to ask what my best picks are for the day, they're going to be in the Discord. It's supposed to be Brunson, DiVincenzo, Barrett, Randall, and Hartenstein, and then Black, Suggs, Wagner, Banchero, and Carter. Everyone knows how I feel about the NBA when it comes to lineups. We get very lucky if they confirm the lineups an hour before game time, which sucks when you want to bet the games, especially props, because you'll find out 20 minutes before a game that a player isn't playing. And of course, I'm exaggerating. Maybe you find out an hour, but if you bet him in the morning, you're pissed because now your ticket's just done. Head-to-head, -head, the Knicks are 6-4. The underdog is 6-4 against the spread. The favorite is 5-5 five five on the money line. The under has hit in their last five games. The under is 8-2. The under 226.5 is a perfect 10-0, and, and the home team is 5-5. Five five. They have not played each other yet this year. The Knicks are 5-5 five five in their last 10, 5-5 five five against the spread, and the over is 7-3. There was a total of 223, 241, 251, and then 249. They beat the Nets by 19. They lost to the Bucks by 19. Then they beat the Bucks by 7. Then they lost to the Thunder by 9. And they were really in that game until the last handful of minutes in the fourth quarter. Then they just couldn't hit shots. For the Magic, they are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 5-5 five five against the spread, and the under is 6-4 in their last 10. There was a total of 232, 227, 246, and then 204 points. They lost by four to the Bucks, beat the Pacers by seven, beat the Wizards by eight, and then lost by uh, 20 to the 76ers without him beat. And I understand they were playing a back-to-back, -back, and that's why I picked against them in that game. I think the Knicks have something to prove, and this is not one of those games that they can afford to lose. I'm going to take the Knicks with the money line. I'm going to take the Knicks getting the points, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.